Hey guys, so I'm here today to do the first of my 9 through um, 12, so my high school makeup. Um, this is the more of the neutral eye, so you can see, but it's still a little bold. I'm going to make this really quick because the tutorial is kind of long. I used the Urban Decay um, Deluxe Palette, I think it was called. I don't really remember, but it's the one that looks like this. I've had this for a long time. I've had this probably since I finished grade 12. So it looks like that. Nine colors. It's pretty good. I really liked it myself. Um, so yeah. It's going to be from this palette. I used... Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to be going through all of this anyways in the tutorial. And yeah, I just used a lot of different products. Well, not a lot. But yeah, it's a very neutral eye with a slightly pink cheek. I took the lip stuff off just because I don't like wearing lip stuff personally. It was just to give you guys an option of something to do with this. Um, so yeah. That's pretty much all there is, so um, get ready for the tutorial. So you want to go in with your eyeshadow primer. I'm using Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Hopefully that focuses. Not really. And you're just going to take a little droplet of it and you're going to put it all over your eye. Just about that much. And I start off by patting it on and then rubbing it in. Next I'm going in with the Revlon Quad or Cream Shadow Quad and not just nudes and I'm taking the shimmery lighter color and I'm just sweeping that all over my eye this gives a little bit more of a sticky base for the shadows to hold on to and helps to make it last all day next with my Urban Decay Deluxe Shadow Palette and the color Scratch I'm taking a flat shader brush and applying this all over my lid. Starting with just patting motions, this way I can apply the color more evenly, and now I'm going into more of a brushing motion. So again, pat with a little bit of a brush. At the top, I'm just brushing it all in. You want to make sure you get up to your brow bone because this is also going to be your highlight color. Next, with shag, you're going to take a pencil, a nice pencil brush, get the color on there nicely, and put this just above your crease. You don't want it in the crease, but you want it just above. So right where your brow bone or your orbital bone, which is really what it's called, where you can feel that, you want to just up on there. Because as you can see, I'm not actually putting it deep into my crease. I don't really want the color in there. This just helps to sort of blend, once I get the darker color in, blend this into the rest of it. Next, I'm going in with underground and a fluffy sort of blending brush and taking underground getting it all on and I'm just putting it into my crease no real placement I'm holding the brush pretty far back so there's not much um, Basically, so the brush has its own freedom. 
and I'm just using little circular motions and back and forth windshield wiper motions. I know there's all sorts of fallout all over my cheeks, but that's why I'm doing my foundation later. So with another flat brush, you're going to take Honey, which is the golden color. Again, you don't need to use the exact same colors. And I'm just putting this over the inner half, just on the lower portion of my lid. But as I was saying, you don't have to use these exact colors. You can use just similar colors. Now I'm going back in with the blending brush I used before. And without putting any product on, just using whatever's left on there, I'm just blending everything together. Going back in with Scratch on a flat shader brush, and I'm just emphasizing the highlight on my lid, or on my brow bone. Next with a black pencil, I'm going to line my eyes. Again, I'm not pulling out my lid, I'm just resting my finger there. Sorry I'm not in the frame I thought I was, but I was focusing in on my mirror so I could get a nice straight line. I think in the other, for the other eye, I'm more on the frame. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm using, I'm starting off with sort of a longer strip and now I'm using short little motions to fill in any of the gaps that were there. This way you get a nice even line but you can still get nice and close to your um, lash line. Um, next you're going in with the L'Oreal Voluminous, or the L'Oreal Million Lashes, sorry. And you're just putting that on your eyelashes. No need for curling or anything. This helps make your eyelashes look really long. And you can layer it up really well. Um, I'm not doing lower eyeliner because I feel like this look doesn't really need it. Just apply it to the lower lashes. Second coat to the top, then reapply to the lower. Next, we're going in with our foundation. I'm using the Inglot Cream Foundation in tw 24. They use letter names and just with three little drops, not that much, you're going to rub your hands together to warm it up and you're going to just pat it all over your face in different spots and then start blending it in. Using your fingers will help to warm the liquid up a bit more so it's easier to use and much easier to spread. Um, I like cream foundation a lot better than powder, but I like using a powder to set my foundation. Helps give me that extra little bit of coverage. So I'm going in with the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 powder foundation and a kabuki brush. And in circular motions, I'm just going to buff that in. This helps mattify my face, and it also helps to set the foundation and give more coverage. The next thing I want to do is I want to go in with my Rimmel Shimmer 3-in-1 bronzer. And with the same Kabuki brush, I'm just going to pick some of it up and blend the color in so as to warm up my complexion.
Next, I'm grabbing the Victoria's Secrets Beauty Rush Blush in Flutter and putting it on my blush brush and tapping most of it off. I'm dabbing the color in right now so I can get a good coverage. And now I'm going to brush it off and start or brush the brush off and start blending it back. This way it doesn't look so dotty and it looks more even. Lastly I'm going in with my Beauty Rush Lip Gloss in Wonder Melon and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips. It's sheer but it still adds a little puff of color and I find it really helps to finish off this look. And that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Another video will be coming tomorrow for the second sort of more colorful look of high for high school. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to all of you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.